In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kate Hudson's compound in Pacific Palisades, California is stunning to say the least, but it's also sentimental. Her main residence is actually the childhood home she grew up in. Her mother, Goldie Hawn, and her longtime partner, Kurt Russell, owned the plush mansion in the 1970s, but sold it over a decade later. Kate bought it back in 2005, making the home her own and further purchasing the home next door in 2011 for $5.3 million. The result? A massive property made up of two luxury mansions. Kate Hudson is an actress and businesswoman who's received multiple awards over her Hollywood career. Some of her popular films include Almost Famous, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, and Bride Wars, just to name a few. When she's not busy acting, Kate is also an entrepreneur with her brand Fabletics. At the time, she has an estimated net worth of around $80 million, enough to buy not only one mansion, but two neighboring homes. And Kate isn't the only one who gets to enjoy this lavish spread. Her family does too. Kate has three children, sons Ryder and Bingham, and in 2018, she welcomed her first daughter, Ronnie Rose, with her current partner, Danny Fujikawa. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This time, we're checking out the homes of actress Kate Hudson. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. As I mentioned, Kate's current home is in fact the childhood abode she grew up in. Her mother, Goldie Hawn, and her longtime partner, Kurt Russell, bought the luxury spread located in Pacific Palisades, California back in the 1970s, but sold it about a decade later. It seems that Kate couldn't escape the sentimental tug of this neighborhood or this home she and her family once lived in because back in 2003, she began living in the mansion again and still does to this day. If that's not enough, the actress also grabbed the home directly next door in 2011 for a similar price, creating one massive compound. Anyways, they used that one for guests apparently and Kate, her fiance Danny, and her three children live in the main house which boasts seven bedrooms. There are other stunning features here like a massive garden, a swimming pool, and a spa. As for the interiors, Kate seemingly took inspiration from her mom with vintage furnishings throughout that look similar to many in Goldie's next door mansion. Kate has shown a photo in her bedroom which offers floral wallpaper, a rustic oak dresser, and a retro floral desk lamp. Another pic showed her massive bed with an olive green plush headboard and cream colored linens. Moving to the main hallway, Kate has a winding off-white wooden staircase, brown stair runner, and paintings with gold frames along the wall. All of this, along with the floral wall lights, add to an old-school ambiance. At Christmas, Kate showed her vodka tree located in what's called her bar room. Each branch was made from bottles of vodka with white and pink roses scattered throughout, while the rest of the room boasted more floral wallpaper and striped curtains and blinds. This space used to be Kate's office, so when they transformed it, they transitioned the built-ins into storage for bottles and added stunning glass storage. If you didn't already guess, vodka is Kate's drink of choice and to prove that, she launched her own brand called King Street Vodka. What looks like it's Kate's master bath also has floral wallpaper and a luxe freestanding tub. Kate cooks a lot, so it makes sense that her kitchen is a stylish space. Here there's an orange and brown vintage backsplash and duck egg blue cupboards. There's also a large work island in the middle and off to one side of the room, an attached casual eating nook with booth style seating. This room is further attached to a cozy den. On the grounds of the home also, there's a sprawling outdoor pool lined with white wooden fence and attached spa. There's even an additional pool house to match. If you haven't guessed, Kate and her mom Goldie share a very close bond. In fact, their neighbors too. If she had it her way, she would move even closer to her mom. Kate told People Magazine, she's down the street. We're literally neighbors. Not to mention, I want to buy the property next door to them, which is another thing I need to discuss with my therapist. In 2011, Kate acquired the mansion directly next door to her main home, a 1935 Tudor revival estate with five beds and 6.5 baths. Kate uses this home as a guest house for her lucky visitors, and she's also lived in it while her main mansion was undergoing serious renovations. Sounds pretty convenient. 
Kate paid $5.3 million for the 7,000 square foot crib, which was built in the 30s by an heir to a lumber fortune and owned and expanded in the late 1980s by showbiz exec Brad Gray. The estate is built in an L shape and boasts a double gated driveway for security and a motor court out front. The main door is tucked into a corner of brick and stone that wraps around the ground level and supports the second floor, which is half timber. Inside Kate's bonus mansion, the renovated home kept the original features like the sprawling great room with fireplace and an oak paneled dining room, as well as a classy library decked out in mahogany. In the stunning library, there are vaulted ceilings, built-in bookcases, and a fireplace. The kitchen had been updated right before Kate purchased it and therefore offered all of the amenities one could possibly desire. There's a sprawling center island ideal for food prep, commercial grade appliances, a butler's pantry, and a convenient little breakfast nook and lounge that opens via French doors to a terrace. Elsewhere, a large space above the extended garage now includes a family room with built-in entertainment system, vaulted ceilings, a guest bedroom, two baths, a loft, and just when you thought that was all, there's even a home gym gym with mirrored walls and a sauna. Outside the grounds, which also oh conveniently attached to Kate's main family home, boasts a large stone patio which is partly shaded and runs the back of the house. It's the perfect spot to check out views over the trees and the neighborhood. There's also a swimming pool with raised spa that's surrounded by a cute white picket fence and rose bushes. There's even a small playhouse with a front yard of its own, perfect for Kate's youngest. All right, now we've checked out where Kate Hudson calls home, so that wraps up this house tour. But it was pretty cool that she bought back the mansion she grew up in and still lives there to this day. Only this time, she's also bought the mansion next door, so she has double the property. That's what I would call gold. Out of what we could see of her main residence, what did you guys think? I for one thought her vintage decorating style was super cool. I also love the design of the Tudor mansion she bought next door. It has a ton of charm. Well, be sure to let me know your thoughts on Kate's homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.